Hello friends. I welcome you all to TechMite. I hope you all are doing well. Today's video is about big data. But before we go to introduction to big data, you first need to know. What is data? The quantities, characters, or symbols on which operations are performed by a computer, which may be stored and transmitted in the form of electrical signals and recorded on magnetic, optical, or mechanical recording media. Now, let's learn big data introduction. Big data is a collection of data that is huge in volume, yet growing exponentially with time. It is a data with so large size and complexity that none of traditional data management tools can store it or process it efficiently. Big data is also a data but with huge size. Let me tell you a few examples of big data. The New York Stock Exchange generates about 1 terabyte of new trade data per day. The statistic shows that more than 500 terabytes of new data get ingested into the databases of social media site Facebook, every day. This data is mainly generated in terms of photo and video uploads, message exchanges, putting comments etc. A single jet engine can generate more than 10 terabytes of data in 30 minutes of flight time. With many thousand flights per day, generation of data reaches up to many petabytes. Let's look at some types of big data. There are mainly three types of big data. One structured. Two unstructured. Three semi-structured. Let's see what is structured big data. Any data that can be stored, accessed and processed in the form of fixed format is termed as a structured data. Over the period of time, talent in computer science has achieved greater success in developing techniques for working with such kind of data and also deriving value out of it. However, nowadays, we are foreseeing issues when a size of such data grows to a huge extent, typical sizes are being in the range of multiple zettabytes. Do you know that 10's power 21 bytes equal to 1 zettabyte? Or 1 billion terabytes forms a zettabyte? Looking at these figures one can easily understand why the name Big Data is given and imagine the challenges involved in its storage and processing. The data stored in a relational database management system is one example of a structured data. Now let's see what unstructured big data is. Any data with unknown form or the structure is classified as unstructured data. In addition to the size being huge, unstructured data poses multiple challenges in terms of its processing for deriving value out of it. A typical example of unstructured data is a heterogeneous data source containing a combination of simple text files, images, videos etc. nowadays. Organizations have wealth of data available with them but unfortunately, they don't know how to derive value out of it since this data is in its raw form or unstructured format. An output returned by Google search is a simple example of unstructured big data. The third and the last one is semi-structured big data. Semi-structured data can contain both the forms of data. We can see semi-structured data as a structured in form but it is actually not defined, like with a table definition in relational database management system. Example of semi-structured data is a data represented in an XML file. There are a few characteristics of big data which can be represented by 4 vs. Volume. Variety. Velocity. Variability. The name big data itself is related to a size which is enormous. Size of data plays a very crucial role in determining value out of data. Also, whether a particular data can actually be considered as a big data or not, is dependent upon the volume of data. Hence, volume is one characteristic which needs to be considered while dealing with big data. The next aspect of big data is its variety. Variety refers to heterogeneous sources and the nature of data, both structured and unstructured. During earlier days, spreadsheets and databases were the only sources of data considered by most of the applications. Nowadays, data in the form of emails, photos, videos, monitoring devices, PDFs, audio, etc. are also being considered in the analysis applications. This variety of unstructured data poses certain issues for storage, mining, and analyzing data. The term velocity refers to the speed of generation of data. How fast the data is generated and processed to meet the demands, determines real potential in the data. Big data velocity deals with the speed at which data flows in from sources like business processes, application logs, networks, and social media sites, sensors, mobile devices, etc. The flow of data is massive and continuous. Variability refers to the inconsistency which can be shown by the data at times, thus hampering the process of being able to handle and manage the data effectively.